Live today at JetBlue, a peek into the future. The first ever MLB spring breakout game as Red Sox stars of tomorrow compete against top prospects for the Atlanta Braves in a seven inning game. Wickham and Gonzalez, the right hander, about to take to the mound for the Red Sox and expected to pitch three innings today. Number one pitching prospect according to Baseball America. Big arm, 94 96. In the left center. Blaise Samuel will move on over and make that play in the gap for out number one. Nacho Alvarez, the shortstop for Atlanta. As that one is up top for a ball and going to put him on. Alvarez is on. Yeah, that's one thing, Wickerman, you want to see. That walk rate, a little bit high. Taking on Drake Baldwin here, the catcher, number three hitter. He smoked him. He put him away. Two down. First strikeout for Gonzalez. Board out there says 92. It looked a little bit more than that. Swings and misses in the zone. Like, that's a difference maker. Saban Ceballos in a leaping play by Mydrop at third, leaving his feet. First spectacular play of the day. The kid got a great jump on it. Maydroth with an outstanding play. Facing Owen Murphy for Atlanta. He was a two-way high school star in Illinois, but the Braves took him in the first round as a pitcher. Got to high A last year. Yeah, Anthony's been impressive. You know, we talk so much about underlying numbers and metrics. Yeah, Red Sox 2023 Minor League Offensive Player of the Year. Flying in the left center field, Guanipa moving over. And a running play by Kilpatrick. Marcelo Meyer is short. He's a special talent, but really it's about health. Want to see him get through a minor league season healthy so you can really see what he can do. One, two, hit that ball hard right at Bunnell. Took a nasty hop, but he made a good solid play on it. Got it to Murphy for the out. Two up, two down. It'll bring up the catcher, Kyle Teal. Really, that defense is the impressive part of his game, but he's just a good pure hitter. Quicker and more athletic than most catchers, too. Going the other way, down the line, Kilpatrick on the run, and that's going to drop in. And Teal aboard with a first hit for the Red Sox today. And that's kind of him. You know, power will come. There's still some size with a lot of these guys, some strength that can be added. He'll use the whole field. Swing by Rafaela. He's going to pop this one up to center. But Ipa coming on and will make the catch. That is one inning in the books. Kilpatrick, the hitter. Nobody out. Runners taking off again. Little flare toward left center. Raffaella coming on. He'll run it down. He's going to flip it back towards second and in time for the double play. He made that look awfully smooth. And just like that, two down. The athlete, you know, got to that ball easy. But that's kind of like the infield, the shortstop, right? Being able to throw on the run like you would maybe on a ball in a hole. Puts it right in the money. Great play. Runner on it first and now two down. Gently hit. York is up and over. And in plenty of time. And it remains a nothing nothing game in our spring breakout. Miguel Blaise, who's in left field today, is the guy you wanted to see. This is the guy to really pop for you. Five tool, the raw power, the speed, the arm. Someone's actually said he's probably the closest thing they have to like an Acuna all around great player. Mm, gonna put him on. Good at bat there for Blaise. 1 1, runner goes. A strike, and the throw down is not gonna get Blaise. Got a good jump, and not a close play at second. He's got the tools, but again, it's a long way away. He's gotta stay healthy. Nick with Portland last year. He was the Sea Dogs MVP. Led the team in hits, doubles, RBIs, drove in 61 runs. Nice. Down to right center field in for a base hit. Blaze rounding. Juanipa will have it cut, and the Red Sox take the lead. Nick York with an RBI base hit. That nice swing from Nick. Got a breaking ball on top of the zone, and really that nice right center approach. Stayed on it, stayed through it. York on at first. He's running. Baldwin's throw and a good one and got him, cut him down. And that'll be out number three. Joining me is Director of Player Development, Brian Abraham, down in the dugout. And just talk about this event and what it means to these young guys to have prospects really of all levels come together for a day of competition. Yeah, it's pretty special. You know, be able to have all these guys, some guys that are in AAA, some guys that are all the way coming down from the DSL to play together. Um, represent the Red Sox, uh, their home countries. This organization is pretty special. And one uh, talk of the organization in recent years has been they need to develop pitching. On a nice play there as a little backup from the shortstop. We worked, we worked on that. We worked on that. You know, my draw is an interesting guy. Because this system with guys like York and Marcelo Meyer up the middle, it's almost been forced to move him over to third base. And he'll rip that one toward the alley. Juanipo over to scoop that up. And the Red Sox have their third hit so far. All singles today. 3 2 with a runner taken off. And that's going to be in tight for ball four. So Anthony will take a walk. That'll put him on at first and second. Oh, that's in there. Pretty good pitch for strike three. Caught him and struck him out. One gone. Brings up Kyle Teal. One for one with a base hit. And that's going to be ripped into right field and keep on rolling. Drake to try and cut it. Mydroth is in to score. 
Anthony to third and diving into second teal and drives in the run to make it two to nothing. Hear a lot about the bat to ball skill for Kyle Teal. And defensively, they love what he brings, throwing the baseball, framing, blocking, but offensively kind of really makes you start thinking about that everyday catcher from the left side. Jumps all over this first pitch breaking ball and shows actually pretty good speed. Two runners in scoring position for Sedan Rafael. And he has had a terrific camp and they really like his swing decisions here in camp. He's had three home runs tied for the major league lead. Lips a high fly ball left center field. Mm. This one hit deep way way back it goes. And once again Sedan Rafael hits one out of the ballpark. Continues to have a standout spring and this time a three Rerun blast. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. I mean, I've seen enough. When I watch him swing the bat, he's swinging at strikes. Let him be aggressive. Let him be himself and go play great defense in center field. Tom Karen is with Kyle Teal. All right, anybody watching at home who has a lobster roll stand, uh, Kyle Teal's available for a uh, deal next year, but uh, he'll be moving on to the major soon. Kyle, congrats. Nice day at the plate. How's it feel to get the results? You know, we talk a little about having quality at bats here as we got to play at the plate. Cover home. Sorry. See, there's the catcher saying cover home. Yeah. But real quick, <laughs> getting results in a game like this, getting results in these spring training games, what's it do for your confidence? What's it mean to, to build the base for the season ahead? The MLB spring breakout game, the Red Sox top prospects, a lot of them anyway, appearing in this game. Same for Atlanta, ripped the other way by Waddell. That'll bring in another run. And the young Braves get a couple back. That makes it 5-2. Good one for him, good move. Slapped to short. Meyer to York got one. And they'll turn the double play. Red Sox have turned a couple of them in this contest. We're in the middle of the fourth inning, 5 2 Boston. And Nick York with an RBI base hit his first time up. Still facing Owen Murphy. Might be looking at that one day at the major league level. Hammer to center field. That's going to go way back to the wall and high off the center field fence. York will chug into second base. It was easy power for a double. He's gone two for two. Always had an advanced feel at the plate. Knows the zone. Good compact swing. Can use all the fields. And looks like his day may be over. And Paulino to run for him. The runner's going to go. And a catcher ball will drop it. So that'll be a stolen base for Paulino. 3-2. And a fly ball into left field. Kilpatrick lining it up. Paulino. Will tag and here he comes and he's going to score easily and the Sox add another one. Mydrop gets it done with a sacrifice fly. Well Red Sox leading Atlanta 6-2 in the very first MLB spring breakout game. Now Fitz will get a strikeout here one gone in the fifth inning. We're seeing Richard Fitz right now who was acquired from the Yankees in the Verdugo trade. Now Fitz back to back strikeouts here. Spencer Schwellenbach who's 6'1", 200 pounds out of Saginaw, Michigan doing the pitching now for Atlanta. A ball four here that'll put runners at first and second. So the Red Sox threatening again with one down. Is there a timeline for something like that in the development of a young player? Well, I think that the key, it's more of an organizational thing. It's, you know, when you hit those certain checkpoints, they have to make those internal evaluations and decide who are the guys that they're potential building around or who are the guys that are more candidates to be moved to help the team. So Paulino strikes out. That'll bring up Blaze Jordan, who's popped up and lined out in this one and the 2-2. Down he goes for strike three. Meyer on the day, hitless to this point. That'll be in there for strike three. So two down. At third, scooped up by Ceballos and up and over in time to retire the side. And a runner at third for Alan Castro. Trying to pick up an RBI here. Just still count, even though the Red Sox have a five-run lead bottom of the seventh inning. Last half inning of baseball, one away. And that'll be up the middle for a base hit. Castro with a solid single. That'll bring in the run and make it eight to two. Two for two now with Castro. It's a little short stroke up the middle. Interesting player. On the right side to start a twin killing and that will end the ball game an eight to two Boston victory and a fun day here at JetBlue Park. We got to look at some guys that down the line you may be buying tickets to see.